Sabah everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is by request. You guys asked for it. I'm going to do a comparison between the Honor Note 10 and the Mate 20X. This is TK. Let's check it out. So here we have both devices. Uh, the Honor 10 is on the right side, the Mate 20X is on the left. Uh, we have a triple camera setup here with a 40 megapixel sensor, a standard RGB sensor, and of course a wide angle sensor in the back. Here we have just two, uh, one, basically the dual camera 24 and 16, capable of doing AI camera, both supporting AI technology. Now this is powered by the Kirin 970 as opposed to where we have the Kirin 980 here. So next generation, uh, but again, this was basically the biggest phone that Honor made in 2018. This was also released this year, by the way. The fingerprint sensor placement is of course ideal for both cases. The texture on the back is mirror glass, as well as here we have a little bit more textured and rounded edges, uh, where here we have with the Note 10 is more of a boxy level. It kind of, you can see here, it's basically straight and it kind of tapers off right away here where it kind of just kind of goes straight and then starts kind of like rounding off at the end. So it's a little bit better rounding on the side as opposed to basically basically cut the way we have it on the Note 10. Uh, no wireless charging on either one of them, both supporting Huawei's quick charging technology. So those are things that are really nice. Uh, let's look at some of the placement of the buttons here. Uh, on the left side, we have pretty much roughly about the same thing, the volume rocker and the power button. On the Note, it's obviously all accented in black to match the color. On the uh, Mate 20X, we have that red coloring with the black top. On the Note, you'll notice there's an additional button that you don't see here on the Mate 20, and that's the GPU turbo also used at the camera shutter button. So that's extra because this is really intended more to focus on the gaming experience you get with the Note 10. Looking over... Let's look at the top. Uh, now looking over at the top, we have an IR blaster and a headphone jack and a microphone, as well as one of the uh, speakers. Uh, on the Note 10, we don't have an IR blaster. What we have here essentially is just the grill and one of the microphones. So you will see the microphone sitting right there and the speaker sitting to the top. So placement of the speaker is in the same spot and we of course have antenna bands. Looking at the SIM tray placement, uh, both have them on the left side, uh, both capable of supporting uh, memory cards, although slightly different. Standard SD card here we uh, on the Mate 20X, it only supports the new nano memory card that's available from Huawei. Uh, although here we are able to expand it with regular uh, memory cards. On the bottom, uh, we have, uh, uh, of course, a few additional things. We have a USB-C for both of them, a microphone placement pretty much about the same spot here on the left, and of course the bottom firing speaker that's mirroring the stereo speaker on the other side. Uh, both of them support stereo speakers, which is really, really nice. And one of the main characteristics that we have here is, uh, of course, they're both fingerprint magnets, uh, is the fact that we have a front-facing teardrop display here on the 7.2-inch display, where here on the Note 10, uh, we actually have a 6.93 display that's paid, well, let's go ahead and unlock it. And uh, this device actually does have a somewhat of a notch, but it's kind of covered with a bar. So you don't really see it, uh, but you keep in mind that when you're looking at a device in this size, you want to be able to get the maximum amount of coverage. So when we compare the two, again, 6.93 coming up to here, and this goes all the way to 7.2 you're definitely getting a bigger display with the Mate 20X, although, and I'm sure a lot of you guys wanna know about the size, uh, when you put them head to head, so here, basically, if I put them on the table next to each other, uh, they pretty much kind of come up about the same, with the exception that I think the Mate 20X is slightly wider. Now, if I put them lengthwise, the Note 10 is slightly longer. So we have a slightly longer, narrow phone here, a slightly wider, shorter phone, but bigger display. Now, the other thing that, of course, you may, you may be wondering is as far as the actual M Pen. The M Pen only works on the Mate 20X. It does not, by any shape, way, or form, uh, have any kind of response here. Even though they're both 1080p panels, even though they're both OLED panels, this is basically intended for this phone and it will only work with this one. And as I mentioned to you guys with other phones, this is also not compatible. Uh, let's go ahead and unlock here. And this is not compatible at all with the Mate 20X. Uh, sorry. This is not compatible at all with the Mate 20 Pro. It only works with the Mate 20X. Functionalities are basically very common to the way you've used them before. So I can press it, hold, I can slide in the middle, do multi-screen, close that up. The other difference that you have here is that the Note 10 is for the most part a Chinese only phone, meaning it will only come with a Chinese ROM. You'll notice there's a lot of Chinese applications installed. Uh, Google Play services did not come on this device. I actually had to load them separately. Uh, and of course here with the unlocked global version, this comes with not only built-in Google applications, but it also has built-in support for uh, basically Google Pay. If you use the NFC payment, it will work on the global version of this phone, the Mate 20X. Um, on the Note 10, it does not. But where this basically come and makes sense, which a lot of people will definitely enjoy, is obviously the massive size of the display. And how does the sound actually come out of these two devices? And play the, the video again from the beginning just to show you guys how loud this thing can get. Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. 
today's video is all about helping you make a decision between the Mate 20 Pro and the Mate 20 X. So right there. Switch you over to the Mate 20 Pro. Both are great devices. I'm going to help you. About hi everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is all about helping you make a decision between the Mate 20 Pro and the Mate 20 X. Again, both sound really good. We're going to go ahead and switch over and play an NCS song just for music now, just to see how well they sound as far as music playback. Now, before we go too far, both support Dolby Atmos. Uh, so you'll notice right there we have Dolby and sorry, I'll spring it down. And we also have Dolby Atmos right here. Both are set up to be on the automatic tuning profile. So meaning it will recognize that it's music and it will bump it up and tune it that way. So we're going to start off with the Honor Note 10, play about 15 seconds and we'll play another 15 seconds here just to show you guys the comparison between the sound. So that was about 20 seconds. Uh, let's go ahead and unlock. Uh, here we are. And let's play the same song. But again, both of them are at 100% volume, just to kind of make sure you guys are aware. I'm not, I mean, this is not obviously how you're gonna play them all the time, but again, for good audio representation, here we go. Okay, so there's about 30 seconds here, 10 seconds more. Both of them sound pretty good. It's really hard for me to tell which one is better than the other. I'll leave that up to you guys. I think overall stereo speakers with Dolby uh, tuning on both of them is going to be really, really nice. The one main benefit, of course, here is that we do have a three and a half millimeter headphone jack on the brand new Mate 20X, where we don't have that sitting in on the Mate 20 uh, on the Honor 10. Uh, the other thing I want to mention to you guys overall, both of them support six gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of internal storage with expandable memory, nano memory, the new technology from Huawei standard SD card. Uh, both have obviously uh, stereo speakers, the top and bottom, and they're not using the actual button here. Now the GPU turbo functionality here is really functional for playing, uh, for taking pictures. Let's say you want to be able to take a picture of the phone. Here we go. Uh, and you can also use it to play games and it does have built in GPU turbo support out of the box. So from a gaming point of view, this has more dedicated hardware to support that. What we have here essentially is just an overall well-rounded uh, gaming overall on both of them. Since this supports the dual MPU Karen 980, this actually has a better processor and better implementation of GPU turbo as opposed to what we have with the Karen 970 that still has for generation one GPU turbo. The last couple of things I want to mention to you guys about these guys is uh, both have a 5,000 milliamp battery, both support uh, Huawei's quick charging, uh, and of course both have a 1080p panel OLED. So they're both going to be able to last you for a long time. Although the size and difference, of course, 6.95, almost seven inch the other one is 7.2 inches and that's mostly because of the way the construction of the display you'll notice that little teardrop uh, notch at the top gave us a little bit more space so you're getting a bigger display with almost the same form factor uh, now putting that aside let's talk about what makes one more unique than the other um, if as far as we look at the mate 20 pro or the mate 20 x sorry uh, the Mate 20X, obviously, we have the M Pen, we have the headphone jack, uh, we of course have the uh, supercharging from Huawei, as well as the fact that we have that triple camera setup on the back. That's something that we can't really bridge over or even compare. We have a dual camera setup on the, uh, the Note 10, as well as the fact that we don't have M Pen support and no headphone jack. Uh, but it does support a fast charging and it does have that GPU turbo functioning button on the side. So it has a shutter camera button as well as in-game control to be able to do screen recording and so on. I'll give you guys a, uh, basically a uh, link in the description below doing the unboxing for both of these phones. We'll show you not only as far as what comes in the box, uh, video sample, audio sample from either one of those, as well as showing you what the GPU turbo button does on the Note 10. Uh, I think between the two, obviously, if I had to pick the two and price wasn't an option, I think the 20X definitely brings a lot more to the table, uh, especially when you get the M Pen functionality built into that. We can't really transfer that over to the Note 10. Uh, I think the 20X does win. If you're looking to get something close to the 20X, meaning massive battery, big display, long battery time, 
Uh, I think the Note 10 is a definite big contender and the price point should be able to help you guys out. Uh, check the link in the description below, of course, to be able to find out the latest pricing on both of them. And you obviously make your own decision as to what would fit you better. Uh, thank you very much for the support. This video was entirely done by request. I hope I answered the question for you guys as to the difference between the Mate 20 Pro, well, Mate 20X and the Note 10. I keep saying 20 Pro, but again, it's the 20X versus the Note 10. Uh, like and subscribe as usual. Thank you very much for the support. I'll see you guys in the next video.